Previously on Mommy Meets YouTube. So the steel work is done guys as you can see all the props are up that little space left at the front area left out for the staircase to accommodate the staircase so we're getting there little by little little by little we're moving slow but with the help of god we're hoping to get there So earlier today we cut out this door jam. Um, as I discussed in previous videos, it was a bit too low based on the fact that we changed the floor level. So we had to cut a little bit up into the lintel, not much as you can see, maybe about to three quarter away, not much. It doesn't it don't even reach half of it, half of what we we cut out. So we had to just cut out a little to get the height of what we needed for the doorway. So um, that's what we did. So now we're looking forward to start um, doing the finishing touch for the window and the door jams in this middle section of the house and then we'll move over eventually to the other side as well. So yeah, things are coming together really well and that open space, that is a st the space left for the staircase.
So for this work that we're doing right now, this D work that we're doing now for the decking of the roof, it took about, it took exactly two tons of half in steel and half ton of 3 8 steel. And yes guys, steel price dropped because I paid 145,000 for one ton of steel. I didn't have to purchase two tons of steel at that time for this right now. To do this project because we had remaining steel left so I just had to buy like ton and a half of steel put with what I had already and you know steel price drops so now is the time to take the opportunity guys to buy your steel and put it down steel takes a long time to rot so if you're planning on building in the near future now is the time to go ahead guys why not buy them put them down you can have them to use when you're ready for them So Mr. Whittles, you can go ahead and just give me a brief explanation of what is done here in the steel work, in the decking. We have a layout, which is the tension bars, them, which is the lower bars, right, for the decking. And then in the front, we have a chair. This is what you call the chair. You use the chair to separate the over support from the first layer. Right. To create over support, that's where the steel expands. Whenever, like when rain falls, or in case you go upstairs, mm -hmm. and you have other additional weight and the decking. So, like this what? This is what flex the, the the concrete itself. So this is what expands both ways up and down. Just mm -hmm. kind of rain falling, and then the extra weight, body weight that take the decking. This is what keep the decking in place. That's what they call the over support. Okay. So for the this beam here, so what you call this beam that extends down from the roof? Alright, this is a dungstan beam. What we use to part the, the decking, because the decking is over 40 feet long. So we use a dungstan beam to hold additional weight in terms of the decking, the, the width and the length. We mm -hmm. also have a sleeping beam at the end here, which will part the next 18 feet worth of decking. Mm -hmm. So we have an next sleeping beam right here for extra additional weight purpose mm -hmm. and this is where the back of the building is if you realize there are some steel emotes so those steel is for the addition of the building mm -hmm. for going out to do the, the rest of the decking okay so that is it so far for this decking all right, so and this decking, it will be cast six inch basically. And this decking will cast six So what the purpose of casting the decking six inch? All right, the purpose of casting the decking six inches mm -hmm. because of the length and the width of the area. Mm -hmm. And then for the additional structure you're going to put on top of it, mm -hmm. you have to have six inches to cover to maintain the, 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 the layer and the over support. Okay. If it was like the final decking for the building, mm -hmm. you, would have, you wouldn't have a need of over support. 
and then you don't have one layer so to speak so you will not have to use um, the chairs oh, okay so the chairs basically give it that additional yeah, the strength chair, the chair don't give it the additional strength it give it the additional strength what the chair do is to separate the two layers of steel that you mm -hmm. put on the building Okay. So to, 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 to get the over support to flex the work properly to the job, you have to, you have to separate them from the bottom. Alright, and this here at the front, where they, what they call this delicate ex extended piece here at the front. Um, this is scantilever. We call it scanty. And this prevent the rain. Uh, yes, this uh, it prevent the rain from the window. And it also give the hose a, 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 a design. That is if you use like the step up, step up. Yes, you can put it with a pattern. Mm -hmm. So give the, the front a, a creative look. Okay. So okay. So this is just a final review of the steelwork and the carpentry work that was done to put up the decking. So for those of you who have been watching my videos from day one, you would have seen where we decked this side of the roof. The process of decking off this side of the roof from doing the steel work to the carpentry work and to when we use it to, to when we were to when we pour concrete so upon doing this side of the roof we had steel that extended outwards horizontally across to this middle section of the house but because we had to raise the roof so you can see the difference so that this is the roof of the part that is already decked and then the part that will be decked soon this would be the roof height so maybe about um about two feet we raise it about two feet up from the previous decking so for those of you who watch who were watching the videos before um we had steel extending out to the living room area but what we did, because we had to raise the roof height, we um, we had to bend the steel up. Because if we had continued with that original height as the previous section that was decked off, all we would have to do is just um, join the steel and then it would be a continuation going across. But due to the fact that we raised the roof height, we had to just, we had to bend the steels and these steels now help to create a, a belt in what they would call a belt so we would have to belt it again basically so you see they put in a steel cage this would be the steel cage that they made this would be the steel cage and it would be also it would be tied to the steel that they bend right so you can see that so right so those steels were used they had to bend them and they were used to tie in to the rest of the steel work for the roof so everything can be you know tied together to strengthen up the the um the structure so that is what they did if we had continued with the original height it it would have cost us a bit less because then we would have um would not have to use up so much steel as i said it would just be a continuation so all they would have done was just um join the steel whatever remaining length that they, that they needed they would just need to join those steel and um continue with the rest of the steel work going across so yeah guys that is it right now we already started to load the what they call it load the board so yes we started doing some work loading the board and the belting wasn't cast out as yet so 
we're trying to take some time and just get the belt in cast so that's on the day of doing the casting for the for the decking of the roof it would um take at least less time right so we're trying to cast out the belt in so all of these open areas we're going to fill them with concrete go all the way around the building we're going to fill them with concrete all right so that is what's going on guys things are going well things are going well so far things are going well so far thanks be to god so in the meantime we just decided to you know get a tractor to come in and clean up the yard for us you know because yeah, the place was the trees and the bush and everything was getting out of hand now but little did we know that we had so much stones My apologies, I was not able to, sh to provide footage for all the work that the tractor did, but the rain came down and the place got very wet and muddy. So even the tractor had to stop working earlier due to the amount of mud that was there. I don't think we'll be using that tractor um, service anymore. Um, so we'll be getting a different tractor and he'll come in and clear up these stones in the front yard you can see we still have a lot of stones so we remo we removed three i think it's three we removed about three truckloads of stones from that just came from just the front of the yard guys can you believe that three truckload and i'm gonna say truckload i'm not talking about the small trucks i'm talking about those huge trucks that they used to carry sand and stone and gravel and all of those things those big trucks that they can carry up to at least 30 tons you understand so look there a whole heap of stones we have where, where, where do we some stones i'm grateful for them but um I really want the front yard to be leveled off properly and it really can't be done because of so much stones, right? Because if you can't even sit that side, that is where the, the fence in, the fence line, we're going to put the fence line where I forgot to take time and dig out that area as well. You see, see how much stones? We have a whole lot of stones guys a whole lot of stones we have what a lot of people don't have which i'm grateful for but we just don't have the use for them right now so that is the front yard where the tractor it, it, it still look way much better it looks much better because at first it was a lot of bush and you know the stones were even higher so you couldn't really sit to the place okay honestly i didn't even know that we had such a big front yard to be honest with you is now that the place actually start to clear up i was like what this is a huge yard so this is the backyard 
I also have a very, 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 very big backyard. Very, very big backyard, guys. So they start to connect the the um that's the manhole so they start to making the connection over to the pit they have not yet connected to the septic as yet because they as i said before the tractor is supposed to come back we're not going to use that tractor anymore so we're going to have to get a different tractor man and let them come and uh, remove the stones from the front of the yard plus we still have a little bit of areas over that side that maybe a bit of stones are as well and we also want him to at least dig out the um the fence line for us and as you can see is a lot of stones so prefer to just have the tractor do it just in case we use manpower and they have difficulty getting out the stones so we're connecting the the pipes to the pit for the meantime just so we can have the bathroom to use but um we are supposed to we're still going to have the 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 tractor come in and dig the hole for the septic to put in the septic tank and then we would just connect the septic tank would probably connect um maybe about right there i guess this is the septic tank that we bought it actually looks like a water tank but it's not they used way more thicker way thicker material to make this tank and then they did the necessary um adjustments that then that was needed to be done to create or to make it into a septic tank so i will leave the name of the place um i'll leave the name in the description where i purchased this septic tank i think i paid um i think i paid eighty thousand dollars for this septic tank if I can remember well, I'm not sure. I'll have to double check and let you know. Um, but yeah, that's the amount I paid. I think so. I would have to check again and let you know. We got it with the pipe. The pipes that are supposed to be connected to these areas. So we got it with all of that. So as I said earlier, we just need to dig the... um all so we can put down this tank down into it so when we put it right there now we would connect the pipes first to the septic and then from the septic it would go to the soakaway away pit so we also had the tractor push some dirt right in this little area this area is the um a little wash area as well as a little back patio so we had him push the dirt in there so that as soon as we take off the roof we'll be able to just level out the dirt in this area and in the middle section of the house so yeah guys that is the update right now we have been doing a lot of work, a whole lot of work. Have been doing a lot of work, guys. So. That is it for now. So remember, you need to subscribe guys and if you find my videos interesting or beneficial to you in any way maybe you are building and something that i say may get a bit of advice you know just subscribe to my channel guys it really helps the channel so go ahead 
click that subscribe button click the like button also share it with your friends families and everyone around you so that's day two you can support the channel thanks for watching bye